Yes, I'm sorry that we started a video and um, because the connection is bad, but um, let's try it again. Om Nagendra Hara Yatra Lochanaya Basmangara Gayena Maheshwaraya Nityaya Shuraya Digambaraya Tasmaina Karayena Mashivaya Mandakini Salila Chandan Charchitaya Nandishwar Pramatanata Maheshwaraya Mandara Pushpa Bahu Pushpa Supujitaya Tasmaina Karayena Mashivaya Shivaya Gauri Vadanara Vindra Suryaye Daksha Dwaranashakaya Sri Nila Kanta Brashtvajaya Tasmai Shikara Enama Shivaya Yakshyas Vasista Kumbho Dava Gautama Raya Muninda Deva Rachita Shekaraya Chandra Kravaishwara Lanochanaya Tasmai Vakara Enama Shivaya Yakshyas Varupaya Jathadharaya Vinaka Hastaya Sanatanaya Divyaya Devaya Digambaraya Tasmaya Kara Enama Shivaya Panchakshar Midam Punyam Yepati Chaivas Nanidhau Shiva Lokam Vapnoti Shivena Sahamodite Jai Shiva Shankar Namami Shankar Shiva Shankar Shambho Jai Gire Japati Bhavani Shankar Shiva Shankar Shambho Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Prabhu Nama Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Prabhu Nama Shivaya Om Bola Sisi Shankar Bhagwan Ki Jai Well devotees, welcome again to Guyana Sevashram Sheng Guyana in the Caribbean on the Atlantic Ocean If you look further out there um, behind these bushes or even further down between the coconut trees you can see the ocean and you can hear the rumbling sound of it because we are very close to the ocean a 10 minute walk maybe to the ocean and uh, but recently a lot of trees have grown here usually we could have seen the ocean straight here but the government has planted these uh, corda trees and they like um, they they prevent a lot of um, erosion and there's a lot of birds and everything there you could hear the chirping of the birds but this is the Guyana Sevashram Sheng and it's a very beautiful place as you can see this is the swamp started by Swami Purnananda Ji imagine this here was a swampland before when he was donated to him and in the early 50s 1950s and the land was irrigated dam was put around it and then their their pumping stations that they'll pump out the water into the um, into the canal there and when there is low tide you could see um, earlier you could have seen the this the, the coca they call it or the sluice where when the tide in the ocean is low then that will be open up and then it will drain the water out from the land and when the tides in the high ocean is high they, they will close that so they prevent the, the salt water from coming in Guyana is below sea level so it has the sea wall um, because when the water rises it prevents the water from coming onto the land and we're sitting right next to the Atlantic Ocean anyway this is the ashram here and I'm standing in the building the Sadhu Nivas and I will stay here when I come and the resident monk Swami Shiv Shankar Ananda he's uh, staying in this building um, across there look the building next to the Monday this building that we see um, there that building and this is the back of the Mandir and this red building that we're looking at 
that was the first building one of the first building that was built in 1956 and that's the Hindu College and so many people have passed through here that school there and then a little uh, the, towards the left on the end that was added on a little later but so many people like uh, former president Bar Jack Dale he's the vice president he went through here and so many dignitaries that uh, when they reminisce of this Hindu college and um, over the years have developed and that's the Mandir of course and if you look further down that will be going towards the main road there's really one main road that goes through the coastline of Guyana there's another one but it's not so much used but this is the main road imagine 90% of the population of Guyana is living on 10% of the uh, coastline of Guyana. That means there's a lot of forest and interior there are some villages and nice they're coming developed. But then it, it, I'm coming here now and the building that we're looking at here right now down there is the dormitory for the boys. The lower section is dormitory and they have the open area the boys they put the beds there there's no rooms and upstairs is guest house for guests and um, at the side there you could see in between these two buildings um, there's a computer center and uh, so the buildings are all come together here and then if you look around here silver archery time imagine this whole place will be packed jam-packed moving around looking at all the murtis and there, this building that's straight there, this is the Hawan Kund, and it's big. It's, if you go in there, it's deep, it's a deep Hawan Kund, and seats around. People will take turn and they'll make their offerings. And then, if you move a little left there, there's a Lord Shiva temple, and there's a fountain also with Lord Shiva. And then, if you go further back, there's a Hanumanji temple. And then, of course, Mother Lakshmi, we're looking here at her temple. And then if you look further down behind the Madhul Lakshmi temple is a hill that was built, a small hill. And there is Lord Shiva also sitting there. If you could see behind that, we'll go to the left and you'll see that, um, that mound there where the Guyana, where Lord Shiva is sitting and people will go here in the back there with the trees. And here this stage is used for concerts like Prakash Kasai would have come here one time and that's where he would have sat and they, we put chairs out there in the afternoon and nice lightings and he, the concerts are down here. During Sivaratri we have a program that we have dignitaries will come and they will speak from here about the greatness of, of religion and of the discipline of the life. And here we pan out, we will get the leaves for eating this um, and then you have the lotus flower and the leaves we use for eating and also the flowers we use for worship this building in the back here was built and Swamiji Vidyananjaji would have built it and he would have stayed in this building in the back and the lower level there where you see some windows the boys are staying also um, non-dormitory boys these are how we have people are staying with us boys that are staying us and then if you go in the back here, this building in the back here, I, you know, everything I could see from here. This is the, um, the bathroom and the back of the bathroom is the, uh, what you call the uh, cooking area. And if you look further down past all of this, there's a white fence at the back there. You can see the, um, that's the new area for the Hindu college, the new building. You've seen that before. But what a beautiful place it is. But the power, Guru Mahaj would have said, Swami Panavanji would have said, the founder and spiritual master, incarnation of Lord Shiva, manifestation of consciousness. He would have sent his disciple Swami Purnanandaji. And Swami Purnanandaji would have worked with Swami, uh, our Guru Maharaj, we call him, in Gaya to set up that pilgrim center and where pilgrims were being harassed by the pandas in the way in the early 19, he went in the 1920s and he set it up and then he made agreement with the pandas and the pilgrims were no longer har harassed. Same thing in Banaras, Swami Purnananda worked with Swami Purnananda, God and his 
disciples working together to set up those two ashrams. And then Swami Purnananda, he would have, um, towards the so Swami Purnananda, Swami Guru Maharaj's life in the, in the uh, uh, 1940, he would have sent Swami Purnananda Burishal to bring together all the Hindus because then the separation, there was no East and uh, there was no Bangladesh, there was East and West Bengal, one country. But later in 1972 was separate, uh, 1941 rather, Banglad um, Pakistan was created at the independence from the British. So um, this is when um, East Bengal became part of Pakistan and then later in 1972 it was separated. Both of these times of separating, there was vast um, molestation and killing by, you know, from the separation of countries. And there was mass movement of Hindus out of East Bengal into West Bengal. And then again, 1973, from Bangladesh, from Bangladesh to, um, to West Bengal. So, you know, this is the history of India. But why I'm telling you this, because Swami Purnananji was deputed to keep the calm and the, and the serenity but through the Hawan Yagya because Hawan Yagya can unite that's why the ashram the ashram Swami Purnanandaji introduced the, the Hawan Yagya in Guyana when he came and that has been carried on by the priest like if you go into the mandirs uh, you will hear one of the offering that even the Pandiji for the ritualistic Hinduism Pandijis they will say Om Namo Sri Bhagavate Vasud Pranavaya, Mahamilana Devaya, Mahayogeshwaraya, Om Nama, Om Namo Bhagavate Pranavaya, Mahamilana Devaya, Mahayogeshwaraya Swaha. Because that was incorporated in the Havan, because our Lord and, and God, Swami Pranavananji, Sri Sri Srimad Swami Pranavananji, He would have. Um, got all of this together. So this is a little history and the greatness of Bharat Seva Ashram Shang. And Guyana Ashram is the seedbed. Imagine so many Swamiji's Brahmacharis, Swami Purnananda, he would have started so got so many Brahmacharis to join him because of his divine magnetic power. And this is what's been sustaining this ashram. The monk in charge is a disciple of Swami Pranavanan uh, Swami um, Vidyanandaji and Vijayanandaji was the most famous disciple of Swami Purnanandaji. And from this ashram, they have, uh, monks have moved to, uh, to England. Swami Nilipthananda, he started the ashram in London. Swami Bhajananda went to Canada, started an ashram in Canada. And later on, Swami Vijayananda moved to New York and he saw, started the Guyana Seva Ashram Shank. So this is, and all monks who have come to the West, including Swami, um, Swami, um, New Jersey Swamiji, he has, uh, he has been uh, brought by Swami Vidyanandaji in the 1995s and he has started the New Jersey Ashram, Swami Amarnathanandaji. And all the monks who have come afterwards is because of this ashram. The, gate, the, the road was clear for coming to the West. So this here is a very powerful ashram if you come here. And if you get a chance, come and visit the ashram, this guest house. You can stay here and enjoy the peace and tranquility. Well, let us close this video. It has said or not. And it's always good to do bhajan. So this morning, let us be adoration to Swami Pranavananji in this famous bhajan. Bhava Sagar Taran Karanahe Ravinandana Vandana Kandana He Sharanagata Kinkara Vitamani Gurudev Udayakara Dina Jani Riddhi Kandara Tama Shabhashkara He Tumi Vishnu Prajapati Shankara He Parabrahma Parat Paraveda Bani Gurudev Udaya Kara Dina Jani Mana Bharana Shashana Ankushahe Naratranatare Hari Chakushahe 
गुणगान परायन देव गने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने कुल कुंडलिनी घुम बंज कहे हृदय ग्रंथि विदारन कार कहे मम मानस चंचल रात्रि दिनी गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जनी गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जनी गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जनी ओम रिपु सुदन मंगल नायक हे सुख शांति बरा भय दायक हे त्रय ताप हरे तब नाम गुने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने ओम अभिमान प्रभाव मर कहे गोटिहीन जने तुम रक्ष कहे चित शंकित वंचित भक्ति रने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने ओम तब नाम सरा सब साध कहे पतिता धम मानव पाव कहे महिमा तब गोचर शुद्ध मने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने ओम जय सदगुरु ईश्वर प्राप कहे भाव रोग विकार विनाश कहे मन जैन रहे तब श्री चरणे गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया लाइट पुट ऑन द लाइट गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने गुरुदेव दया कर दीन जने दिस इज द ऑल्टर ऑफ द मंदिर गायना से वाशम शैंग एंड सम ऑफ दीज पिक्चर्स दे आर ओरिजिनल पिक्चर्स द वर्स Established here, that's where they're so faded, and here are his beautiful Guru Maharaj. What a beautiful altar in it! So historic, Swami Purnanandji and you know, all, all the monks. So many monks have preached here, and this is the mandir. And then I'll walk towards the front, and then we'll close the video. And this is what it looks like when you come out of the mandir. This is the main entrance for the devotees. They come here, and um, ah, this is going to the front of the mandir. So today it's a beautiful day. This this Shiva, Lord Shiva link. Um, this is where the offering for Sivaratri. Thousands of people be lining up all over here, and then they make the offering. This small little Shiva temple. And um, well, for now, let us all say, have a beautiful day and enjoy. and um do prayers after this because it's a place of pilgrimage sit down and do some prayers and get the benefit of this the the energy the divine power of this ashram hari om shanti 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 hari om bolasi si guru maharaj ki jai